What up, this your boy T Mizzle back again with more Marvel Future Fight action. Today, we're doing a quick update on the Elsa guide that I gave you guys a couple of weeks ago for Speed Day. Um, some few changes that we've made, uh, new rotation, and just a couple of other tips that I've learned uh, just today, actually. So um, let's go ahead and jump into it. I don't want to make this video too long. So first, let's take a look at the team we're going to be using. We're going to be using Daredevil and Wong to team up with Elsa just for the bonus uh, attack power. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you the stats on the Elsa I have. I have full mythical uniform. Um, I also boosted the mythical uh, the uniforms for the both attacks on the uniform. And just to show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, if you go in here and look at the attack bonuses you get from the uniform, look at the options. Uh, I've chosen skill cooldown, physical attack here. And as you see, I haven't boosted this uniform to mythical yet, but I have it at rare. So she still has more to go, guys. This is not even a max Elsa. All right. Not even max. Uh, we went ignore defense right here in this slot. Um, dodge right here. And of course, physical attack in the last. And again, rare. We still have legendary and freaking mythic to go on both those guys so we still have a lot more attack power we can get and boost elsa up she's not even fully finished so that is major anyway let's keep it moving uh you see the stats here let's go ahead and take a look we're rocking with 24k physical attack in this team right here and again like i said we haven't even boosted those other uniforms to push that attack even higher so we're going to end up with probably 25k a little bit over 25k when it's all said and done uh maxed out in order defense uh, cooldown is a little bit shy of max, but it's close enough. And of course, crit damage is 168. Uh, the gear that we've chosen today, uh, an immunity to guard break. Guys, this is a must have. You must have an immune to guard break obelisk on Elsa to get max defense, okay? I mean, max offense. You must have immune to guard break gear on Elsa for max DPS, okay? And as you can see, I got crit rate and 200%. Woo! baby anyway sorry let's keep it moving so let's go ahead and jump into the video and show you the new tips i have for you uh, i didn't show you the iso8 set overdrive didn't even go with po8 didn't even go with power of the angry hawk but overdrive works so anyway let's go ahead and jump into the video because this is going to be awesome here we go all right This video gonna play for us here uh let's see come on i hope we don't have any lag today as far as the sound here we go videos going and like i said we have some new tips for you and this run is an amazing run and guess what she has more to go guys she's not even finished that's what i'm saying she's not even done okay not even done boom there we go New rotation, guys. I'm going to go ahead and tell you while you look at the video. New rotation. Five, three, one, four. Nope. Five, three, one, four. That's your new rotation. And I say that five, three, one, four is a new rotation. A couple of things. Remember, I say I have new tips for you. So if you're looking at this video and, you know, you're not paying attention to me right now, but I've noticed that when Elsa uses some of her skills, okay, if there are mobs around, like behind her, she would actually aim towards the mobs and not the beast, okay? So what I have found, if you and you will notice in this video, you'll see me kind of going toward the beast a lot. And that's because I'm just trying to reposition Elsa so that when she uses her five skill, she aims at the beast and not at the mobs behind her. If she aims at the beast, she will kill the mobs as well, but I want to make sure that beast is getting the full damage done to him so that's why i'm telling you this make sure you keep that control or keep the keep her facing the beast when you're using her five skill absolutely okay i just kind of keep doing it the whole video so you'll see me kind of run toward her like right there i kind of ran toward the beast that's just making sure that i'm in the right position so when i use that five skill it hits the beast full throttle you know what i mean so that's a major tip I wanted to give you guys. Other than that, just keep going five, three, one, four. And guess what? You're gonna do amazing things with Elsa. Amazing things. I can't wait to see what happens when I'm finished maxing her out. But uh, that's what I wanted to give you guys, okay? Again, you must have immune to guard break because that fifth skill, which is her big damage dealer and her immune skill, 
can be guard broken. And if it gets guard broken, you're going to lose a ton of points. You are going to lose a ton of points. Okay. I know in that first video, I said you didn't have to have it. And that is true. You don't have to have it to play it, but you will not score the most points that you can possibly score. So you must have it to get max points. All right. You must have an immunity guard break to get max points. And like I said, this run here was an amazing run. Um, I felt like I did mess, mess up the rotation like I think once or twice in the video. Um, if you just rewind it probably a couple times and, and just look at what I'm doing, you might see where I messed up. I know it was a couple times and I just saw one when I was not aiming toward the beast on that fifth skill. It actually hit the mobs behind it and some of the damage. I'm pretty sure I missed out on some damage points. So this probably could have been a 150k run had I not done that. I'm not saying it would have been, but I just feel like I could have had more points in this run. Okay. So anyway, I, it's like I said, this is not going to be a long video, guys, but I had to give you an update because I just found out the new setup, the new rotation, and just learned these new skills. And I wanted to pass it along to you guys. Um, what I would say to you, if you struggle with using Kate, if you struggle with using Yondu, if you struggle with using uh, Elektra or any other speed character in an alliance battle, make sure you level up Elsa, okay? Look at that score, 143K solo. And as you can see, she almost has health, half of her health still available. Very easy. You don't have to worry about keeping the bar. You do not. This is the easiest speed character to play and get good damage on speed day okay again she's not the best okay i've seen people with yondu score more i've seen people um i'm not even gonna say kate I've, i think i've you know what maybe even kate maybe a mixture of kate and yondu but i've seen people with yondu score 150 160k points so haven't done that with elsa yet so i'm not gonna say she's top but guys she is definitely the easiest by far you don't have to worry about that bar so if you're like me and you struggle keeping that bar up use elsa boost her up you're gonna need that last uniform to do this but you must level her uniform up to get these these kind of results okay of course my cards are pretty nice as you can see my, my physical attack is boosted so you may not get as high as i've gotten but you can still do very well um with elsa okay so that's the video guys um i know it's very short but i hope you learned something from it and of course i would love to hear your stories and your experience with elsa if you have some or if you think you have a better solution to getting higher points with elsa or who do you think is the best speed character to use on, on speed day? Okay, let me know. Hit us hit us up right here. Let us know. Share with us, okay? Uh, make sure you like this video. And, of course, subscribe if you haven't done so. And until the next... You know what? We're, hold up. Hold up. One more thing. The next speed video is going to be on Electra. okay? I'm working on Electra right now. I'm going to make sure I say that. I'm working on Electra right now. I can't do a video on her because I haven't technically used her. But I am working on her uniform. And hopefully by next week... I should be able to have some footage for Elsa guys, and I'm hoping that uh, she is as powerful as I hear she is. So anyway, that's it for this video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and until next time, this is your boy T-Mizzle, and I'm out. Peace.